Support for Big Think comes from Microsoft, delivering people-ready enterprise solutions designed to help companies do more with less. Details at Microsoft.com slash people ready. I'm Tom Stenberg, and I'm the managing general partner of the Highland Consumer Fund. Our philosophy at Staples and philosophy in most companies we're involved with is that you have to stay ahead of the curve both in your people infrastructure and your systems infrastructure. So if you're a $200 million company today, you better be thinking ahead as to when you're gonna be a $500 million company or a billion dollar company and make sure that whatever path you go down uh, can accommodate that level of growth or you'll never get there. Having said that, I think the most positive thing in technology today is back when we started Staples, you had to buy uh, IBM and DEC mini computers at several hundred thousand dollars a piece to run uh, even a relatively small business. Today you're running on a PC for a fraction of the cost. In the old days you had to buy software applications and upgrade them and maintain them that were resident on your box. Today you can buy these things as services of software, as software as a service off and download them off the internet for a fraction of the cost. So the cost of having great systems today has come down dramatically. And that's, I think, a, a tremendous enhancement to productivity among small businesses. Clearly, we've gone through a revolution in marketing, uh, where historically, the way to reach the consumer was to blast the message as broadly as possible, and as cost-effectively as possible, and hopefully in an creatively engaging way to send your message across. Today, thanks in part to the internet uh, and other targeting techniques, you can tailor your message to the exact segments you hope to appeal to with a message tailored, if not to the segment, to the individual even. So it's a dramatic, dramatic shift in how marketing works. Having said that, uh, I don't think there's anything more important or more viral than word of mouth. And with the internet and everything else going on, and word of mouth includes email messages and blogs and everything else, the fact of the matter is that the first reason most people try a given retail outlet is they happen to drive by. And the second most important reason is a friend told me about it. It's never advertising. Well, think about how training used to happen and how it can happen today. Stage one of training was you had to get the manufacturer's representative in front of all the store managers in a region or have them travel her travel around the region to go see all of them. And whoever you trained, if they turned over and retail employees do turn over, the successor wasn't trained at all. Then it evolved to videotape or satellite training where you could have smaller groups, have less travel, and communicate uniformly and more cost-effectively from a travel perspective, whatever message you had. And video conferencing would have been part of that. Today, you're evolving to a world where you're gonna load your contact up onto an intranet or even into a cloud, and the associate will download it on his or her schedule to get trained and then tested. Uh, and if the employee turn over, turns over, the new employee can go in and take the very same training the other one had with no incremental cost to the organization. So I think technology is having a very, per, per, very persuasive impact on how effective training can work. Many companies see technology as an, as, as an end to itself and they buy a new ERP system or a new human resources system or uh, some fancy technology that does something else. But they don't stop and first identify the true needs of either their customers who are being served or their frontline associates who are trying to serve the customers. Have you ever watched an airline, from some of the, from the legacy airlines particularly, uh, an airline clerk at the check-in counter worked their computers. I mean, to me, I once went over to one of them and said, you know, how do you guys do this and not screw up all the time? 
He says, well, do you see why I always have to call for help? This is really, really difficult to operate. Well, that the systems clearly weren't designed to make it simple for either the end user or that reservations clerk. And frankly, now you look at the next generation, which is sort of the, uh, the Jet Blues and the Southwest Airlines who are handling bookings online, it's so much simpler. And the check-in process is so much simpler. And the systems don't seem nearly as cumbersome. Why is that? What I'm most proud about Staples and e-commerce, in addition to the fact that Staples is now the second largest e-tailer uh, in the world, uh, what I'm really most proud about is how well we integrated it into the retail business. Uh, at Staples today, if you're out of stock on a sale item, they'll ship it to you the next day based on the in-store uh, kiosk. If there's, they, they stock five, 6,000 items in the store, there's another 30 or 40,000 available via the internet in the store. So that old cross pen refill they don't carry anymore, they can still get it to you the next day. If you want to order 50 of something they don't have in stock, they'll ship it to you free the next day. That kind of capability and being able to service the customer in store better and in effect make the internet an ally of the retail store as opposed to a competitor of it was well, probably the thing I'm most proud of. Support for Big Think comes from Microsoft, delivering people ready enterprise solutions designed to help companies do more with less. Details at Microsoft.com slash people ready.